so if i talk about the bluetooth okay all of you know all of you are using this facility okay this network or this architecture in your mobile phone in your laptop okay and some your you can say the smart devices okay they are connected with this bluetooth technology now if i talk about this bluetooth okay so starting with this it is also known as the the wireless personal area network wpa okay and uh, this wpa okay uh, you can see this uh, ieee standard okay uh, most of you heard about this uh, ieee standards okay so if i talk about this ieee standard the for this wpn it is Eight zero two point fifteen point one, and this point one is specifically for Bluetooth technology. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so sometimes they can ask about what is this personal area network, wireless personal area area network, or they can also about with the same name this Bluetooth. Okay, in your syllabus it is mentioned the Bluetooth, but that is nothing else the WPN and the IEEE standard for this IEEE 802.15.1. Now, as the name is suggesting over here, you are creating a network, okay, for your personal need. Okay, so let's see if you want to come uh, connected your smart TV with your mobile phone. Okay, so you are connecting with your, creating your personal in uh, network. Okay, between two uh, devices, your mobile phone and your TV, or between two mobile phone, you can see over here. So this WPN technology <clears throat> used for exchanging data over a smaller distances. Okay, so the first constraint is over here. Distance. Okay, so uh, you can send and receive the data up to 10 meters. And the, if you talk about this uh, frequency, at which frequency this is operating, so it is operating on ISM band that is 2.4 gigahertz to 2.485 gigahertz. The operating frequency for this Bluetooth is 2.4 gigahertz to 2.485 gigahertz. Okay, and this is firstly invented by Ericsson in 1994. Now, maximum devices that can be connected at the same time are seven. So you can connect it seven devices maximum at the time. Okay, and the range is up to 10 meters. It provides the data rate up to one Mbps or three Mbps depending upon the version. So maximum speed, one, two, three Mbps. The spreading technique, which it just uses is FHSS. So it uses the FHSS spreading technique. A Bluetooth network is also called PicoNet and a collection of internet connections, PicoNets are called the scatter net. Okay, so there are two part, agar mein baat karo architecture ki, Okay, so there are two parts you can see over here in this diagram, PicoNet and ScatterNet. Okay, so PicoNet, let's see this is one PicoNet, this is second PicoNet, okay, and a combination of PicoNet is called the ScatterNet. Okay, so <coughs> maximum you can see over here in primary node, one primary node called master node, and seven activities secondary node are called the slave nodes. So in this PICO node, total agar mein baat karo, eight node, active node could be there. 
can be used. But one will be master and seven will be the slave. <coughs> So there are total eight active nodes which are present at a distance of 10 meters. The communication between the primary and secondary nodes can be one to one or one to many. Possible communication is only between the master and slave, slave, slave communication is not possible. Means if this S1 is slave and this S5 is slave they cannot communicate with each other only master is communicate with the slaves okay so all of you know ki jab hum data send karte hai, let's see you are sending two to three you are connected with four me more people okay and if one is master so second and third cannot communicate with each other because they are not connected they are connected with the first one master <clears throat> it is also have 225 255 park node these are secondary nodes and can not take participation in communication unless it get converted to a active state okay so jo bhi hai usko pehle active hona zaruri now a combination of as i told you it is formed by various piconates as a slave that is present in one piconet can be act as a master or we can say primary in other piconet. Okay, so important point is here, a slave that is present in one piconet can be act as a master or we can say primary in other node. Now this is the Bluetooth protocol stacks, you can see the layer, how this layer is uh, pattern of this protocol. So this application, TCS, SDP, RFM, uh, logic link, link manager protocol, based link control and radio frequency. So the all the, this layer is defined over here. How this, these are the 10 layers, application layers, and which layer is, or which uh, this protocol is uh, having which type of service, okay? Now, if I talk about this advantage and disadvantage, so the main advantage is it is low cost, easy to use. It can also penetrate through wall. Suppose you are sitting one room and you're connected with the second room. The node is available over here. Okay, and he's slave and master. So you can communicate easily because they can penetrate the walls. It creates an ad hoc connection immediately without any wires. It used for voice and data transfer. So both of the both type of data you can send, whether it is voice or your data. Now, if I talk about the disadvantage, obviously security reasons are there. So it can be hacked and hence less secure. Slow data rate because up to 3 Mbps maximum we can receive with the help of this and the range is 10 meters. So, if we have a large distance ke liye communication established, karna hai, to we are not able to do in this case. Okay. So, you have seen many applications, dekhe honge, those who are depending upon this Bluetooth. Okay. But the this area coverage is between the less than 10 meters. <coughs> 